Petrov's defense, classical, Karklin's Martinovsky variation. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. It is the final book action. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. It is excellent. Nx e5 places the knight in the center, where it has influence over many crucial squares, and takes the undefended e5 pawn. It is ideal. D6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is best. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is quite good. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This pins the other side's knight to the king, rendering it immobile. It is ideal. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This poses a knight winning threat. It is quite good. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to fork pieces. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is excellent. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. This captures a queen and eliminates a threat. This is the only move that works. This threatens to win a pawn. It is a great move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a rook. This poses a checkmate threat. That's good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. The rooks are linked by this making it easier for them to work together in the future. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. That's good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is good. This misses a chance to treble the number of pawns in front of the king. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. This strikes a rival knight. 
It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This buys time by putting a bishop in danger and getting it to flee. It is quite good. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is quite good. This prevents the adversary from winning a bishop. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. It's all right. That's good. Making the adversary double their pawns makes it easier to establish flaws. It is ideal. Backs off. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This overlooks the fact that moving the king out of the rear rank is a better approach to activate it. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. It is quite good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to disclose an attack on a piece. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. It's all right. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. A wise decision. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Both players were equally favored, which was balanced. It was a really competitive game. Both players had fantastic starts. Both players played fantastic middle game there. In the final round, both players were incredibly precise.